Hey everyone, it's me, Anime Game Nerd here, bringing you my 12 Days of Anime, Day 2. Which is, last, the first time we talked about just pure fucking bad writing. Second time, we talked about bad parenting. And today, we're talking about death. So yay, let's get to it. Now, the anime in question I'll be talking about today is one of my personal favorite animes to come out of this year. Which is Donkey Rock, but now... I'm going to go over like what Don Kamarpa is based, based off of and and its plot before I talk about in this particular moment. Don Kamarpa is based off a PSP game that eventually got ported to the PS Vita of the same name. There is also a sequel to the game, game which I'm forgetting the name, plus a spin-off game, and I've heard they're hinting hinting at a possible Fern game. I hear if the, the depending on the DVDs sales of of do of this, of the of Don Kamarapa, they'll create a second season based off of the second game. And now let's get into the plot. The plot of Don Kamarapa is about about a group of high schoolers that more so start attending this elite private school. However, they're shocked to find out the fact that there's only around 12 or so students there, and the principal is like this talking black and white teddy bear named Mono Bear. And as it turns out. Out this the they there's only one way to they have to spend the rest of their lives at the school and the only way to actually leave the school and graduate is you have to kill one of the students and get away with their murder. And this is where more so the story of Don Kamarapa begins with and we follow more so of one of the students, Nagi, he more so solves the murder and him and a few other and him and the other students more so one by one solves all the murder as they more so die one by one. Now granted, by the end of the series, not all of the students die. There's that. And a good portion, like, I would say around, I think there's like four or five students actually remaining by the end of the series. And the, and it's definitely quite interesting, especially like the whole big truth on they're more so relations to all the students. That was a really good... I would say I really enjoyed that twist. And it just shows the fact that how, I guess, messed up Mono Bear is when you figure out more so the truth behind everything. And and what really made me more so get into the show and may at least kick off of being one of my favorite animes this year was this particular moment I'm about to show. Now, I'm not going to show actually just quite yet. I'm going to get into a little background. The in the first episode, one of the students Nagi meets is a more is a is a girl around his age that he actually attended middle school with. While they weren't close friends, they more so get along right off the bat and try and get through this together. Until the point where Nagi Nagi is willing to protect her, and on the first and during on one of the the first nights, with I think within the first week of attending the school. The girl, girl, I believe her name is Mitsuo. I could be wrong about that. So here's someone right out at her door, around her door, and she gets worried. So she goes to Nagi's room and tells him that she's scared. She's scared. Nagi offers to let her stay the night at his room, and he'll just stay the night at her room. Then when he goes to see if she's all right the following day, this more so happens. And please don't give me a copyright strike. What the hell? What the hell? I hope the fucking god none of these clips I'm going to show throughout the 12 days of anime gets my channel taken down or something. But then again, YouTube's on this whole copyright notice warfare at the time of this recording. So yeah, probably not the best idea, but I feel like I should do something different but than what everyone else is doing. And I guess do something else that sets my channel apart, so yeah. I, at why I mean these videos from the rest of the videos I do where I don't show clips and I just looked up the girl's name which I completely actually forgot I was calling her Mitsuo but her name is Saika Masasu Masuno or Maisi or Maisuno or Maisolo or however you know I'll just call her Maisolo and 
the reason why this death really got me hooked is the fact that they, it's not too often you see the what at least with the first episode build up to be the where, she's actually the love interest for the main character. That is something you don't see quite often. A love interest killed within the second episode, and then the fact that, and also to me show the fact that yeah, you can't really get attached to anyone in this series. And, as it, and here's the interesting thing. First off, I'll explain how the trials work after they investigate what happened to her for a bit with the whole messed up room and even a blame message she left on the wall. Wow, well, here's how more so the trials work out. Basically, they have to more so figure out and guess, I guess, more so on who is the person that killed them. And if they guess right, the person gets that killed the person gets executed however if they guess if they more so agreed it's the wrong all agree it's the wrong person then everyone but the killer gets executed and the killer graduates so a long is online when it comes to these trials and here's how more so was as it turns out out Masuno or Maisuno is isn't really the nice girl she was seen to be. As it turns out, this was all more so a trick to kill Nagi, to more so kill someone and frame it on Nagi, where she was going to lure someone in to her her room, which was actually what no one was actually Nagi's room. Kill that person and blame and set up to where that way it looked like it was N Nagi's room. Which, at first, everyone actually does believe it's Nagi, but at least the one that kills her. But things don't go according to plan, and the person that kills her just kills kills her and, kills her and was in self-defense when she was trying to kill him in order to get out of the school. Which, I won't, say, I won't actually spoil the person who was the one that killed her, but overall, but... Overall, the first couple episodes of Donkey Kong Rockboat, well, the more first free bridge be perfect. The more so first death, the deaths happen usually in one episode, then the trial in the next episode. This was pretty much the moment right here that got me hooked on Donkey Kong Rockboat. It was more so the more so the first character to death, death, and got me interested on what the hell is going on. But and overall. Don Karapa is a solid anime. I highly suggest you guys check it out. It was one of my personal favorite animes to come out of 2013. And yeah, this has been the fern day of the 12 days of anime. If you guys like this video, leave a like. If you just like it, leave it a dislike. If you want to see more content like this, including the rest of the 12 days of anime, sub to me. And yeah, anyways, I'm Anime Gimner, signing out. Peace.